Hi, my name is Andrew Secard. I'm a general surgeon here at Appalachia General Health System. So a hernia is actually a defect in the abdominal wall. Uh, the abdominal wall is made up of muscle and connective tissue and it's almost like a hole between the abdomen and the subcutaneous tissue. The symptoms of a hernia are usually either a, a bulge or a lump uh, that can be associated with pain. Sometimes people notice that this bulge is bigger uh, when they uh, go to before they go to bed at night and it kind of gets smaller when they wake up in the morning. Occasionally these bulges can become very painful, uh, can be associated with skin changes, uh, fevers, chills, nausea, vomiting. At those times it may be what's called an incarcerated hernia and in that instance it could be a surgical emergency. Hernias are treated in many different ways. Traditionally people would say that we treat hernias with open surgery but we also do it using minimally invasive techniques which is either laparoscopic um, with just small holes and long instruments and a camera inside the belly are robotic. The way we fix each hernia is dependent on where the hernia is, the size of the hernia, surgeon expertise, and surgeon patient preference. Robotic hernia would be a minimally invasive technique. With an open hernia, we usually make a cut over where the actual bulge is. Uh, with a robotic technique, we kind of go away from that using smaller incisions and are able to, to uh, do it with a minimally invasive or, or a, uh, a smaller incision. The recovery time for hernia repair, uh, robotic versus open or traditional, just depends on a few factors. If it's a very large hernia repaired open, uh, it's, that's associated with a lot of pain. Robotically, uh, smaller incisions, usually less pain, and patients are able to go back to work sooner, leave the, leave the hospital sooner, things like that.